Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! We are currently still on our little field biologist expedition exploring these mammoth ice plains! And that's really what I would call them, not just because of the occasional mammoth that we run across, that's right Sunflower, did we do indeed, but also because this place is huge! I just cannot believe how far the ice plains spread. It feels like if it's not ocean, it's ice plains or wasteland lately. Ugh, it's so weird Sunflower, why is that happening? All right, there's a little bit of oil, but today, after having collected quite a bit of snow, I still don't know if it's enough snow to make a good igloo, but we can always gather more. We are actually headed out, and we're going to go try to find, if I can orient myself correctly in the right direction, this will be the first challenge, Sunflower, figuring out which direction we should go. I want to try to do it without consulting the map. That's a bad idea, you say. <laughs> That's the didwee of panic. Without consulting the map, Mom, we will get lost instantly. That's what I hear her say. No, no, no. See, Sunflower, I was right. And here's the timber forest. But today, we are actually coming over into the timber forest. Oh, look, 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 look. Look at the grizzly bear. Oh, it has eaten, it has eaten a chicken. <laughs> this grizzly bear appears to have, um, satisfied its hunger with the chicken. I wonder if we could run down there, Sunflower, and maybe gather the feathers, at least. They don't tend to, like, they leave behind a lot of the meat that they don't finish. Uh, don't mind me, don't mind me. Do 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 do. Oh, the meat's still there, but he's, he's leaving it. So I'm going to come over here. Come here, you. There we go. Food for my dogs. Good. And he seems fine. So he must have eaten what he wanted and left behind the rest of the... <laughs> oh, no. He's still hungry. Yep. Sorry, chick chicks. Wow. Look at the other chicken. It's like, ah, block, block, run for my life. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, it is the cycle of life being observed, I suppose. wonder if I can come down and collect. Don't mind me. Mr. Bear, you're minding me. Hi. That's good. We're fine. I'll come back here. There he goes. Now he's locked back onto that chicken. The poor things. They just don't stand a chance. These bears, they just, like, go through all of these little... <gasps> Fragrant fern! Yes! But yeah, the bears are just like tearing through the animals. I hope that maybe that int like heard something and is coming to rescue them somehow. I could see an int being like a protect- oh, there goes another one. <laughs> oh dear. But I could see an int totally being a protector of like the creatures of the forest. Alright, Sunflower. Today, our goal, Mr. Bun Bun, is actually not to try to uh, save forest fowl from uh, very hungry grizzly bears. Look at that bunny. But we're looking for Dalmatian puppies! I'm so excited! So we should be able to find, if we're observant and lucky, Sunflower. Alright, let's put all this away. We'll, oh, I should keep the shears out. That's right, Sunflower. We might run into some more sheep sheep. We have actually picked up a good number of raw beef, just because the polar bears are wiping out the Arctic cattle populations, that's for sure. A little bit of hide, because I got attacked. <laughs> attacked a few times by, by some very cranky boars. But we've also brought several safari nets, so that we can hopefully catch a lot of little Dalmatians. In fact, I was thinking, so what are we going to do with the... the Dalmatian sunflower. I was having to give that a good thought because we don't want to just go out willy-nilly to catch animals and stick them forever and ever and ever in the cryogenic slab. I really want to stop that because I feel bad for the poor little animals that get stuck in there forever. So I was trying to figure out what would we do, sunflower? Ooh, columbines! I know, right? They're so pretty. I was trying to figure out what would we do with the Dalmatians and I finally decided it would be really cool to build a big giant firehouse in the meadow of horses. So we're going to build like a big giant fire station in the meadow of horses and maybe have like a few Dalmatians that'll just live with uh, random NPCs or live with um, like live with us. Sorry Panther, I'm sorry, I'm looking for Dalmatians. The Panther's like, I do not appreciate being walked on by a chocobo. Sorry Panther. Alright, Sunflower, why don't you uh, get in here for ease of travel? We'll tuck her away for now. <gasps> More plants. Okay, I'm gonna do my best not to get you distracted just picking up plants. Hello, Mr. Ant. I'm here for the Dalmatians. Little Dalmatian puppies. Where, oh, where could you be? Let's see. Ooh, brought some tomato sweets. But yeah, I think it would be really fun to, like, sprinkle the dogs, because we do, you observant little, little people, you, have noticed that we have uh, the Copious Dogs mod now. Hello, little, little raccoon. 
Have you seen any, any little Dalmatians? Now that I finally got the supplies to catch them. Ooh, some wild blueberries. It's delicious. So we will be, yeah, we will be gathering up the Dalmatians and the other copious dogs and we'll find homes for them. We'll do really cool builds that we may not normally do. Like I'm actually pretty excited about the challenge. <gasps> wild sheep, come to me, my pretties. I need your wool. Thank you very much. Oh, there's a snake about. I hope it's not a copperhead again. But yeah, I'm actually very excited about the challenge of trying. Oh, sheep's already got its wool back. Okay, there's that snake again. Where is. Oh my gosh, it's a tree snake. Look at that. Tree snake. That is the coolest thing. That's where the snake was, sounds was coming from. My mom is terrified of snakes. And she believes it is a grave injustice that snakes can not only like slither on the ground, but that they, that they can very actively climb trees for many species, and that they can swim. And basically, you're gonna find snakes pretty much everywhere. And that is that's that's not not good according to my mom, because she she is, she could prefer with not finding snakes absolutely anywhere. So the opposite of that. Oh look, and there's a little venomous one. Speaking of snakes, well we scuttled away before he got us. Don't you worry. But yeah, like normally we wouldn't build like a fire engine because, you know, we're more into the, the casual. Oh, look at the deer. Oh, it's so pretty. Little nature scene. Oh, wild cherries. Oh, and you can see where a chicken has died because the, the um, enterprising little raccoon has eaten the chicken. And we're gathering wool from wild forest sheep. Which is a, a, a fun endeavor to pass the time while we walk around looking for our little... <gasps> Look at it! Oh, it's so cute! Come here, little wild. I love forging. Forging is just so much fun. Digging around, trying to find all sorts of goods. Hi, guys! I see the wild, um... The wild... Ooh, I got distracted by the pitcher plants. But I mean to say the wild cherries up here. Am I full? Aw, oh, inventory! Don't do that already! There's so many plants! So many plants! Alright, let's chuck these in here. And then actually we can put a ton of our, our other gear away. Why do I have a bunch of dirt with me? Alright, let's see. There we go. Alright, some wild cherries. Gather those up. And we'll continue looking for Dalmatians. But yeah, normally we don't build like more modern buildings, I suppose you could say. But I'm not going to be intimidated by that chicken. I think it would be a fun challenge, let's get away from the boar before he decides he wants to nibble on us, to like make a really cool fire engine, and oh, another deceased chicken. <laughs> Maybe I don't need to go and buy it from the Village of Light. <gasps> Dalmatian! It's our first Dalmatian! Hi, puppy! Oh, you're so pretty! Hi, sweetie! So I'm going to bring you home with me, and then uh, to tame the Dalmatians, I think you have to make like dog biscuits like these little dog biscuits right here um so oh we need raw pork chop for that good and then you can give them like little collars so how do you make oh not too bad not too bad you have to walk them around on a dog leash in order to get them to follow you oh <laughs> ha come back here there we go finally caught up with you little one. Oh, look at all the cute little spots ah oh. she or he is adorable i think I think it's a little girl. So, voila! Just like that, we got a little Dalmatian! Oh, I'm so excited! We'll just have to, like, collect them up. And then, when we finally do uh, get back over to the Meadow of Horses, that is when I'll just, like, unleash a whole bunch of Dalmatians into, <laughs> in, into like, the yard we're going to make for our, our firefighters. Let's see, I explored over here, pretty mm -hmm. sure. Yep. There's evidence. <gasps> and wild strawberries. Delicious wild strawberries. Let's see. I'm pretty sure there was like a whole pack of Dalmatians. Kind of in this direction. I see the cows. I think we ran over that panther actually. I'm pretty sure we've been here. This forest feels so much bigger than it really is. Ah, oh, look at this. Columbine. It's my Columbine raccoon. Mine. It's not like you would want to do anything with it either. I don't think columbines are edible. I don't really know of anything that eats columbines. But I've... Oh, another puppy. Hi, puppy. Hi, little one. Welcome. And maybe we'll have like the 101 Dalmatians. Whoops, a daisy. That's a panther. 
The 101 Dalmatians uh, firefighting station. I wouldn't mind that. That would be pretty cute, actually. And some of the pines have mushrooms. Ooh, what's going on down here? All right, let's do a little bit of dig, dig, dig. Oh my gosh. It's like root heaven. All right, let's gather up these little root vegetables. Like we're a little mole or something. Come to me, little roots. I'll dig around for you. I wonder, like, ah. Uh, I wonder if there's like a taste preference among the animals that like eat my roots in my garden sometimes. I never really thought about that before. Like if they specifically target my favorite flowers uh, because like that's the best tasting. I never really, never really gave that much thought, but I guess it would make sense. Or maybe they're just easier to digest or chew. I wonder what kind of like, if I was a mole, what flower, ooh, fossils. What flower roots would I want to eat if I was a mole? What a fascinating question. You gotta love where biology questions take you. Oh, there's even more roots. Roots everywhere. All right, let's just gather up a few more of them. We're being a little mole. Speaking of which, we do need to make some mole exhibits. I'm pretty excited about that too. I wonder if we should make some more like underground exhibits that have to do with like fire or fire ants. Like get a whole bunch of ants and call them fire ants. I wonder how we could designate like these are fire ants and if you guys don't know what fire ants are they're a type of ant species that i ran into a lot when we lived in uh the south especially down in texas and they are vicious little little things and they will just like chew you to pieces and when they bite you they leave behind a little toxin under your skin that burns it burns so badly you never want to stand on a fire ant nest and of course when you're a kid you're kind of curious about fire ant nests so I remember, like, you'd get a stick, which is really mean to the fire ants in, retro like, in, in retrospect. Uh, but, you know, you'd get a stick and you'd go and you'd, like, poke at the fire ants and just try to see what was in their nest. And I was always fascinated. Oh, man, come on, there were a ton more Dalmatians. How are there just two now, cow? How now, cow, huh? Let's give it a good little run. Hmm. All right, we'll have to keep our eyes really, really peeled now rid of this invasive bamboo species honestly but yeah i remember poking fire ant nest uh to see what was inside of them with like a mm. stick and you could see the intricate little like tunneling and the detail that had gone into it and this is the longest lag tight i have ever seen <gasps> and it has a turkey tail behind it <gasps> what a perfect like a lucky place to sleep we'll sleep under the longest lag tight in the world thus thus far and harvest up ouch apparently I decided ugh, to hit my head on the stone wall I do that in real life when I climb into bed too I'll get into bed and then I'll just like move too too hard and smash my head into the, the wall <laughs> it's gotten to the point where like darling doesn't even blink he's just like there you go doing it again all right let's see so <gasps> tulips look at those beautiful tulips sitting there sitting there cow right on the edge of the field Eh, that's worth swimming over here for. What an odd place for tulips to grow between a timber forest and, and wasteland like this. Alright, let's see. Let's add our little our little plant findings in here. I guess we don't need the sweet grass or the short grass. Whoops, no, I wanted the ferns though. Ah well, we're gonna pick up we're going to end up picking them all up in a second anyway. There we are. Oh, don't you growl at me. I hear you in their cave. I don't see you, but you can't hit me. I'm looking for Dalmatians right now. All right, so we're at the edge of the forest over here. <gasps> More tulips! Wow, I've not seen this many tulips in ages. They're they're pretty uncommon, uh, at least in all the areas we currently are in. Ooh, and maidenhair ferns. All right, thank you very much, cow. I feel like it, you're yes. I feel like that was a, a, you're welcome. But yeah, that's a very odd little place for the tulips to pop up. It just jammed. <gasps> Another Dalmatian! Yay! Hi, Bubby! You want to come with me? Now we've got three Dalmatians. One, two. Good, good, good. Dang it, tulips, are you not stacking? Very annoying when they don't stack. Alright, but we'll just grab those ones. Oh, there's another one! Being chased by this very small horse. <coughs> Oh, there's two! Yes! Alright, we are getting closer to completing our little Dalmatian collection. Let's see, nothing down there. Hi, puppy! Come on, you can be a firefighter's dog. Come here! 
So, like, 101 <laughs> firefighting Dalmatians. That's kind of adorable. We should pick out, like, the two leaders, and they can have, uh, of the Dalmatians, and they can wear, like, little, little firefighter hats. That would be really cute, actually. And I'm actually, oh, what's that? Okay, more penguins. Lucky for Mara, we are out of empty safari nets for that purpose, at least. And there's a polar bear. We're just going to leave him be. And a dancing chicken. I'm just assuming this is the messy splashing that birds tend to do when they get in the water to, like, clean their feathers. Man, just watching that chicken's making me dizzy, too. All right, so back into the forest. We have two more safari nets. Is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. So two more reusable safari nets. <gasps> Look! Oh, that's so cool. It's almost like the snake is trying to raid um, the beehive. But I don't know. No, snakes wouldn't, like, eat any of the honey or anything mm. like that, but... Maybe there would be birds nearby trying to eat the insects, and the snake is after them. All right, come here, bee. Gotcha. Yay, little queen bee. Let's swap out. Make sure that we are totally prepared for potential catching. Hello, cow. Lots of cows in the area. I'm glad their population will be at least a little bit protected inside of the timber forest because those polar bears. <gasps> Look, wild apples. Yum. Oh, you gotta love it when you can... Ah, dang it, they're not ready. You gotta love it when you can forge for, like, your lunch. I think it's just really fun. Sunflower, darling! Oh, wow. Wow! Mr. Ant, do you have any idea what you did to that tree? Well, I I'll leave him to it, then. I won't take those beautiful appetites as much as I want them. Alright, any more columbines? This is a very beautiful columbine area, too. We find a lot of those. Oh! Puppy! I knew we'd find more! Alright! Another one down, another one to go. What would- how would we decorate a firefighter station too? That would be really fun. How would we do that, guys? Like, what would you build? What would you have constructed to decorate a firefighter station? Oh, we should have one of those slidey poles! I wonder if we can get one of those slidey poles and, like, make it work somehow. Let's see. Hello, little bird! Look at the little cardinal perched right there. Tossing those little leaves. Hi, sweetie. Man, that is one calm bird. Normally, they get a lot more agitated by now. But I guess it's fine with me just, like, standing. It's like, nah, you can't fly. I'm good. I know you're not getting close to me. Smart little bird. And our last Dalmatian! Ta-da! And there we go. So now we have finally caught... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six... Oh, seven. Oh, I forgot that sunflower. Okay. We need one more. Because I wanted to have an even number so that they've all got a buddy. All right. And I forgot I used one of their things. Hello, crows. Oh, and more forest sheep. Come to me, forest sheep. With your precious wool that I can give to my Zomberry village children. There's the last one. There. Now we've got the last Dalmatian. That's what I thought. That poor puppy has no idea what happened to it just then. It's just like, whoa. Oh, look, and there's another cardinal. Possibly building a little nest up in the trees. And there's another Dalmatian. <laughs> but we're just going to have to accept that there are wild roaming populations of Dalmatians and other dogs in the world. Because if we tried to collect all of them, we would, we would never find enough homes. Ouch. Enough room for them. Because there's going to be Dalmatians absolutely everywhere. Oh, sheep, sheep, hang on. Eh, oops! I'm sorry! <laughs> the sheep's like, what was that for? I was trying to save your life. You know how it is. Sometimes it, it hurts for a second, but it's for your own good. Like a little shot or something. Alright, good. Alright, chicken. Alright. we can. I think we can actually follow this coast, and it'll take us back home. So we'll jump on Sunflower in just a second. Quick glance around to make sure we're not missing anything. Too awesome sauce. <gasps> Ooh, there's some more of those mushrooms. You know, I haven't seen any slugs recently. That little leaf just reminded me. No slug sightings recently. Yes! More mushrooms for delicious mushroom soup. Hearty, hearty, yummy, high in vitamin D mushroom soup. Alright, so that should do it. Alright. Now, Sunflower Darling, are you ready for this? We can head on home. <laughs> And I will see you guys next time when we will get ready to go and visit Mara's place. And we will build a nice little... Well, first we need to make her some ice cream. 
And then we will go visit Mara's place and we will leave her a nice little igloo filled with penguins. So I'm really looking forward to that. Right, Sunflower? And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.